right? In that case, why don't we have blue mount up and blue mount up? Get over here. Yeah. Oh, good. I could use some company. Where'd you go, Notch? What's the hold up, Aaron? Okay, so I thought that the time over here was this one. Okay, good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm good. Send it. Cover that. Anvil, you guys ready to move? Afer, we're all mounted. Yep, mildly better visibility from this front seat. <laughs> What the hell is armor doing? Wanking each other? Probably. Considering they spent our entire first engagement all getting shot. They were all turned out. <laughs> they have <laughs> freaking gun shields on the main gun. Red Vic. Bush, I checked it out. <laughs> I hope the latency is not a bad. So far, it's looking good. Send it. Copy that. Go ahead and pull off. Let us pass. Okay, we're just cruise past them. Copy. We're dismounting about a minute anyway. Shit, I can't see that. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's roll up to the bottom of the head. You didn't transmit. Uh. Uh, red team, if you didn't catch that, roll up to the bottom of the hill, dismount there. Hey, don't get us wedged in here. <laughs> hey, dismount. I'm not. Copy. Or dismount. Dismounting, you just stay right hand side of the road, push up uh, to the high point on that hill there. That blue team's gonna push directly at that roadblock. Afirm. Wow, I'm already exhausted. Hey, check him for IEDs, check the bottom. Watch Chris on that hill, there's a lot of towns on the 
So far, so good. Hold on a sec. Got eyes on an empty technical. Yeah. Empty, uh, got an empty technical to the west of us at the uh, bottom of the hill. What's the bearing on context? Uh, no wise from here. West. Yeah, there's a technical there, unmanned. Yeah, I, uh, be on I have too many bushes. Yeah, I'm moving to my left. You have eyes, Aaron? Yeah, I do. Bearing a 269 from my position in the middle of the field. Okay, I'm going to try to cross behind you. Okay. He's alert. Okay. Moving into the rock. Behind the tree. Bearing two seven four. Another one right side of the two story. Whoa, nice geo. Okay, Ian. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, new copy. Pull him to the rock to the east. No eyes on the guy that is shooting. I think I'm blind. It. I'm going to relocate. Yep. Looks like it. Um, Ian? Maybe a glitch? Blue was just still taking some fire. I need to find out where that's coming from. Copy, no ice. I'm receiving fire, but no ice. I'm blind. I said some move. Just launch landed. There's some guys over there. Oh, rocket! Need be advanced. I see a rocket to the west. I don't know if it hit something or not. Clarify, you see a live rocket troop or just a sitting nope. rocket? No, a rocket just flew over. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, from where? Uh, directed to the west to east, basically, over our heads. Can't see the target. Nope. Seriously? In my mag. Not, not oh. total. Uh, 
Anvil Panther. Jesus. We can confirm some sort of rocket troop in town, but we do not have eyes on. Oh, fuck that overpressure. That hurt me. <laughs> Where is that? Whoa. On it. Sending my medic over. All right, Blue, do we still have visibles outside? Blue's gonna start pushing up. Uh, Amble Panther's gonna start pushing on the close line of building. PKM shooting at red. Uh, just try to get eyes on that. Once you're ready to move, go ahead and start pushing up. Clear from outside. Aaron not pair up. We're good. Clearing. Ian right, Taylor. Clear. Copy. Left. Yeah. Get Get on the hill. Copy. Stacking on. Copy. Stairs. Ready. Going. Right clear. Check him balcony. Copy. Balcony's clear. We're clear. Copy. Windows clear. No ice from the window, so we're good. Oh. Going downstairs. Get down. Yeah. Okay, got the first one in this building. Ian, once you're here, come join me. All right, clear this bunker. Did you Southwest, close? guys. Southwest. Um. Contact. Taking fire. Did you get him? Yes. There's a second one. Down. Thank you, Adam. Reloading. Okay, let's make sure that sniper's gone. Red, be aware there may be a sniper in that building you're entering. Be careful. Let's go ahead and cross road. Fuck. Alright, time to move. <laughs> Are you good, Aaron? Okay. Good. Okay, cross. I will follow you. Contact left. Down. On you. Roger, I'm going this way. Pushing. Hey, someone was shooting. I think it was the tank. The tank almost killed me, man. Behind us? Oh, yeah, the tank was shooting at me. Okay. <laughs> okay, fuck. Let's go ahead and clear upstairs. Okay, I'm going across. Copy. Mine, that's empty. Good. Copy. This is Tim. Ask Tim not yep. to use it. Come on. Call it, I'm going in left. Okay. Ready. Going left. Going clear. right. Right, clear. Alright, pushing these buildings. Copy. Breaching. Okay. This one's clear. Copy, clear from outside. Roger, pushing the doorway. Okay, that contact is dead. There. Yeah, it's dead. Alright, moving in. Checking left. Copy. Left's clear. Right's clear. Copy. Clear, 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 clear. Yeah, it's okay. Take point. We're clear. Friendlies from east, friendlies from east. Okay, ready. Roger, the building to our north has not been cleared. Copy. Check it out. Road's clear, I'm coming out. On you. Cover that, blue's clear in town. 
Let's cross the road to the uh, west. Copy. Go ahead. Go. Jump. Entering. In position. Clear. Got an entry over here. Copy. I'm gonna post up here. See if we can just support them from up Looks here. clear. Keep pushing. Uh, watch out across the river. If they can see us, I don't yeah, know. Well. Roger. Aaron, if there's anyone in that compound, I'll grenade it from my position. Alright, we're clear. I'm pushing. Copy. You call it. Got that. We're clear all the way up to the Okay, stuck. Going. Go. Going left. Going. And right. Uh, clear, clear. Do they need all clear. Help? I haven't gotten any radio from that. Roger. You got two doorways to, on your right side. I'm covering them. Copy. Uh, push up to the corner. Panther. Copy. Watch out. We have an entrance uh, just in front of, to your left that goes to the other side of the road, okay? Roger. Okay. I'm moving into no, the no, into no. my right. Um, yep. Go. Can you just radio for higher? So clear. Get some assistance with that. Keep Roger. moving. Send it. Crazy. Clear. Both. Both with the Breaching this one. Copy. Moving on you. Uh, copy. I'm, I'm in communication with them now. Moving. Copy. Right's clear. Left clear. Right's clear. Left clear. Copy. I'm going upstairs. Roger. Okay. Apps clear. Alright. Good. Let's move to the... Uh, can you see me to the next compound? Yeah. Actually, I can see you very well from here. Roger. Lo looks clear. Checking left. No wise. Clear. Yeah, it's all clear. Hey, because these next two compounds on the left side of the road are clear. Copy that. I'm going to call that all clear then. Uh, go ahead and uh, post up on the northwesternmost side. Uh, red team, what's your position? Hey, if you want, you can hold there and cover down the road. Okay, I'm going to move up to the next set of doors. Copy. Go. Uh, Abram, are your optics still good though? I lost you and I can't cover. Okay, if possible, uh, could you guys roll up a bit and try to get optics on the town? Give us some scouting. Okay, I'm back. If you want to take this corner, copy. And just lay prone down the road. I'll, I'll cover to your left. Yep, sure. Get up on the second floor over here. Um. If you need to, I'm gonna try to get the town, the tank rolled up here so that they can scout the town for us with their optics. All right. Do you think there's a uh, extra grenades in the on these or the RG30? Uh, there should be a few. Okay, I got six left. Okay, I'm going to use this moment to uh, repack. I probably only have about five, maybe six left. And bring that many. Okay, oh, yeah, I usually spend so much time on the radio, I don't just shoot grenades that much, so. And I wish I could stabilize my binoculars. Yeah, I know, they're really uh, bouncy. Copy that. You should see some sh when you come around the curve, there's some shops on the left hand side of the road. We're there. Just go ahead and pull off behind that. Don't see much. Yeah, I don't see anything. Guys, about to have a heart attack holding these binoculars. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go down and try to move up to those trees off on the right and get better view from there. Oh. 
sounds good. Right, um... Blue team, if you need ammo, RG-33 is here. Let's hop in and see if we can get anything. I gotta grab a couple grenades. Can you bring me a box of... Looks like we're full of grenades. We got um, 556, 100 round belts for 556 as well. Want me to bring some ammo, Natch? Uh, I think Aaron is going to bring me one box, but if uh, if you want, you can bring me another one of 100. Copy that. Thank you. You want in your backpack? Oh yeah. Oh, I thought that was the whole thing. Oh, hold on, hold on. Roger. No, do it now. I'm set. <laughs> and lay. Killed you are on red team now. There you go. Okay. Thank Tam you. Tam. Hunter red box. Thank you. And your your RG thirty three is the tan one. Right, um I wanna scoot up to the walls up on the right side of the road, see if we can see anything in the town there since the tank's offline right now. Roger. Hey when you're ready, notch cover me, I'm gonna cross. Oh one sec. Taking my job, man. Ready now. Go on. Crossing. Copy. Copy that red blue is going to try to get eyes on the town right now. Crossing straight. Copy, go, go, go. Saving that PKM will be useful. That what? That PKM to your left. Oh. I don't want it. <laughs> we could store it. That's true. Yeah, we're already advancing, damn it. I'm pushing to your location. Roger. Are you on yelling, Notch? Uh, nope. Okay. I am now. <laughs> Moving up. Yep. I'll cover you and then we'll go. Uh, have a look north. Northwest. Where you can see. In the top of the building. Right, moving up. Copy. Too, so. Have a little look. See. Oh, um, yeah, wherever you can find. I got long range, so whatever looks good. That hill on the right. Look at that crazy fox hound. Sexy position. Okay. <laughs> Say what? Send it red. Your your position is kind of sexy, man. You are yeah, actually can I, can I hurt you? there. You go. <laughs> hey Taylor, there's some rocks on the left side of the road. Can I move to a uh, reposition there? Go ahead. Crossing. Go go go.
getting some eyes on a few solitary infantry on the docks, but almost nothing else. Yeah, from up the bunker, I have a sentry team moving west. Advice tank it's right on our location. Okay, friendly tank is pushing. Moving back. Copy. I'm pulling back. Are we the green one? Okay. Why are you on the roof of the car? Uh, can I can identify one gun. Nice if I could use Binox from the turret. <laughs> that would be really cool. Sounds like they're engaging. Ooh, that sounds east of the town. Aren't we missing someone? Uh, we're getting one more up there. He's in. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and get us on the road. Oh, it's most myself. I was constantly passing. Anvil, us. Panther. Are we for clear for a move up the road? Good cabby. Alright, Red Blue, we're going to be moving down the road. I want guns on town. Feel free to open up uh, on the near side. We're moving up to that bunker. First line of building, as soon as we're there, you pull off the side, you dismount. The first si uh, side Ample of buildings? Moving. It's the first set of buildings. Copy. Whoa. Traces. Yep, they're going to be firing. They're giving us cover and fire. Left side. Yep, so that. Loading. Oh, there's a guy at the entrance of the compound. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got hit by something. There's a barricade. Or pull us off the road here. That's okay, I guess. Okay. I'm trying not to get us killed. Hold, 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 hold. You're pulling us way too far. Okay. <laughs> hey, dismount, dismount. Dismount it. Probably just saved us. There's contacts uh, west, southwest around the corner. Okay, I'm uh, wounded, check yourselves. Through there. Contact down. I'm fine. Through it? Oh, we got a clear. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and go through. Okay. Everybody Watch check yourselves real you. quick. Right side's clear, left side's clear. Could be, we're good. Hey, firm, dismounting at the barricades. Start clearing. You okay, Ian? I think you might have been talking on fire team now. Yeah, you okay. can. Oh, shit. Sorry, Red, I may have been broadcasting on wrong channel. Whoa, whoa, I don't where know from where. Head? I don't know. Um, stage okay. building. Pushing, 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 pushing. Yep, yep. Can't get through these fucking doors. Okay, no ice. Turkey, I'm watching left. Building's clear, is not. Copy. Uh, pushing from the west side. Roger. Okay. You're Checking okay? inside. Without splitting. All good so far. You're all fine. Building is clear. Building is clear. Coming out. Roger. Um. Okay. Shots fired from the north. That's what I was trying to do. Okay. It's clear. I think that uh, the bank. Whatever. Northwest is occupied. Cool. 
multi. Uh, multi story. Yeah, the multi story. Gabby. Red team, beware. Multi story building north and west of us. Uh, we're believed to be occupied. Don't have clear sight. Let's move out and around to this compound so we can try to get moved down the road a little bit more. Alright. Moving into these. Alright, Caleb, go ahead and dismount and start moving up with us. Let's go around. Let's go around the um, eastern side. Moving out. Contact north. The trees. Hey, RPG nice. troop in the woods. There's yep. contact north. Down. No ice, moving to, to the rock. Oh, there's more. Fuck. Shit. Fucking hate tree branches. He's too. Behind you, Notch. Headshot, he's down. Suppressing. Reloading. Movement north. Prone. On target. Ice. Box tapes. Prone, he's crawling. He's standing. I'm dining past you. Can't see shit. Bearing four. I'm pushing, I'm pushing, I'm pushing. Yeah, guys, I have Aaron down. Aaron down here on my post. Moving. Under six, Ian. Ian, I'm pushing. crossing, crossing. Smoke out. Don't move yet, Aaron. I don't know what it is with my head, man. I keep getting shot. In the face. Whoa. I'm taking close fire. Yep, take over. Can I, uh, side left? I'm Eyes on. Shot it. Sure. Yeah, where'd he go? Yeah, right Pushing in the face. Morphins. That's right. You're okay now. Thanks. I hate when I'm that set, man. Just AK going point. off. RPG. Contact west. They're on the road. Red team, there's contact west. Okay, I'm pushing to the guys. No. Oh. Yep. Cover. Contact west between the buildings where we are. Red team on building. Second floor building. West north floor. One red team ever down. Contact west. Oh shit, sorry. Don't realize you're right behind me. Hey Taylor! Oh yeah, more in that dockyard. 
Gabby, blue, careful with grenades. They got reds right there. Contact north. 100 meters behind the, the old pipe. RPG troop. Shit, loading. Single RPG troop behind pipe. Loading. Got him. I'm here. Whoa. Trez is coming in from north. Yeah, AR Shit. gunner. Bad grenade. <laughs> so present. BTR, main road, red, northern road, BTR. Perfect. Do you have any AT in this group? Yeah. Alright, he was through those bushes, just keep an eye out. Hey, crazy? Yep. I need your help. <laughs> Uh, you need supplies? Uh, yeah, put, put the box. Uh, let me see how many do I have. Yeah, put a box no, on no, my no, back. Medical, medical, medical. Copy. Ample, Push in the morphine. Copy. Push in a second, and you're okay. Thank you. Cheers. Fuck. You guys see this guy? Ample, are you able to push him, uh, push him, push him, push him? There we see what looks like a BTR moving around in town. I got that guy. Ooh, oh, nope, that's still up. Okay, so press Do it. you have any more AT? Let me dry. I got mine. Okay. Fuck. If we peel right and then move up north, I think we can flank. Uh, him. it's exactly north up the main road from our position, as far as we can tell. Want to move north? I'm not opposed to that. You're uh, too, you need to go farther with that grenade. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're not too close. I'm just saying. Uh, we believe it to be within a hundred of that pillar of smoke. Good copy. Feeling right. Reloading. What the fuck it? Oh god. <laughs> oh, I got him. I got him. Are they out northeast? Feeling. No oh, shit. We're open field. Watch, last man. Okay, I'm moving. <laughs> Pushing through rocks. No one said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Iron, your last man. Move. Move it. Not last man. Yep. Back loading. Crazy last man. Copy. Okay, crazy move. I have, uh, I have your back. Two or three out. Copy. Your last man, Natch. Copy. Fuck. K 
Okay, I'm moving. I'm clear on the northern side. I don't your last man. Roger. There's another BTR out there. Whoa. Was was another BTR. <laughs> Is that Amble taking that out? Yep. Okay. I, I'm in pause. Moving. Good copy. Thank you, Amble. I think that's Ian, your last man. Red team, what's your status? Copy that. Right now, blue team's flanking pretty far north towards the factory. We're going to try to um, cut off that intersection. Taylor, start moving. You're a little quiet there, Nacho. Set. Uh, keep moving. Uh, we keep moving to the northeast. Billy? Yeah, I want to keep moving. I want to move up to that factory and get that intersection locked down. Copy. Crazy. Oh. Go, 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 go. Hello, Akbar. Yes, sir. Go, 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 go. Okay, Ian, you cover us. We keep pushing. What the fuck happened? Moving. Crossing Aaron. And I need a Gatorade. My guy is dying. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't want to keep pushing north too far. I'd rather cut west here. Copy. I, ha I have north. West here and get to that intersection. Roger. Okay, on you. Possible movement north on rock, right side of rock. Not crazy, confirm that contact, and if it's nothing, pull back and come around with us. Bearing two. Check in. Got you covered, Natch. Copy, I'm pulling back. Last man. Cheers. I got no contacts. Raj. See some fire coming down that road. I'm gonna go between the pipes. Be on the tree to your right. Okay, it's there. Actually, these burnt out BTRs can give us free. And we'll be aware Panther is now taking the intersection to your north. And we'll, if possible, hold fire for a moment. Red team's getting uh, overpressured by you. Red team, try to pull back a little bit so that they have a clear line of fire. Okay, Gracie. Yeah. We want to make sure they're able Gross to take that down, no problems. Raj. Crossing behind you, Ian. Fire for now. Last man. Try yeah. to get them back to safety. Anywhere you are in front of that, that gun is an overpressure zone. You get killed there. Is that what it called? Overpressure? Yeah. Well, because oh. there's a huge amount of pressure from the, the from the combustion. There's basically a huge pressure wave that'll just fuck you up. Nice. Press over to the road to your right. Which currently have this pretty secure. Anvil Panther, you're clear to fire again. Red team's clear of you. Keep pushing, 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 pushing. Contacts rear, contacts rear. 
Uh, just south, just south down the road. Red, between your position and my position, there are contacts. Blue team will start pulling south. Oh, but can we have friendlies right there? Friendlies, friendlies. Between our two positions. Going left. Yeah, going right. Got no contacts. Dude, dude, let me just grab some grenades off this guy. Oh yeah, sir. Uh, just going down into the second building. So bandages and morphine would be good too. Stairwell. Clear. Pushing down. Oh, fuck. Okay. Looking Go. clear. Got Go. one more room. Wanna take this RPG? Clear. I still got a one tap. It's got armored. Shit, shit, shit. Jay-Z, okay? Hold on, high command. Just got armored. Grab whatever I can off the Fuck, my whole body's bleeding. Uh, can you help me? On you. Coming up to you, Notch. Right arm. Copy. Got right arm. Got my head. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Me, Pushing morphins. I cover this alleyway. You got my right. Copy. Yeah. Got my morphine. I'm good to go now. Secure, secure immediate area. And, uh, I'll communicate with Hackman. Grab. Okay, send that one more time, Hackman. Copy that lead. Alright, red team, you see the compound that blue team's in right now? We need to secure this whole building. We're gonna hold up here. Uh, looks like enemies are pulling out, but we wanna make sure we're safe. Blue, uh, what have we not cleared in this compound? Uh, the oh. building that notches in the ground floor. Yep. Dodge moving in. On you. Force clear. Ah, I keep glitching into the walls. Right, they're setting yep. up on the north side, so I don't set up on the south. If you missed three stories. They fixed that. Oh no. <laughs> okay, seconds clear. Going up. I just Position yourselves how you see fit. Right's clear. Left, we're okay, clear. My building. All clear. Let me just have a pretty good overall building here. Yeah, it's kind of a nice building. Okay. Compound's actually pretty sweet. <laughs> 
defensive off. Alright, red set up on the south side of the building. Got the whole building got destroyed by the tank shells coming down the road. <laughs> yeah. Command Panther. Panther's declaring this uh, section all clear. Alright, everybody, we're getting back downstairs. Meet up uh, just south of this building compound. Copy. Copy. Uh, we're regrouping with blue, I guess. Let's move to the bottom floor. I don't want to glitch in. Crossing crazy, crossing. Uh, yeah. Scooby. Let's group up by the tank, I guess. Let's correct that. Let's group up by the tank. Okay, looks like we have to regroup. Really? Yep. Oh. What well, is the tank? Damn. They said it was going to be a short mission, and then if we wanted to continue, we have to clear the rest of the town. Uh, you know, I'm going to continue on this map. Anybody else getting shitty frames here? Uh, My frames are fine. Really? Fuck, I'm getting like 20 frames, man. That's this good frames, is, uh, dude! It's not bad. More huh? deadly than it is friendly. Oh, I'm actually getting 30. I'm getting like Remember, you are playing in armor. I'm gonna play 20 frames. It's armor, dude. Hey, if I go to play 20 frames, I'm gonna go fire up Crazy, the Xbox. Yeah, can you turn? Uh, we can maybe do a smaller map. Hey, Kayla! The intersection. Yeah, so you can just be oh. Tank kept the killing us. There's yeah, <laughs> yeah, a freaking okay. music gunner in this thing. I swear to God, I'll get a string of you. We'll talk about it. There's so. Kayla. Out, out the main gun of the um, Abrams, there's an overpressure zone. Um, basically, if you're standing too close to the front of the thing, when it fires, you're going to get hit by a big pressure wave, which will hurt you pretty bad, which is what was happening to Red. Yeah, we were in a big firefight between the enemy to the west and then you guys shooting at us from the east. Well, so, well, so there's a. See, given see the that tank over there? <laughs> that you see tank. the tank over there? <laughs> Yeah, no, the only reason we were trying to push up on it is because I had two guys down. Tim was down across the street, Caleb was down almost right so where I'm standing. Yeah, and every single time we he was just shot, trying you guys to smoke and pull out. Hold, hold on, you guys hold on. In, but... It was broadcast oh. over the net for you guys to hold your position because there's a tank down there. So why'd you guys push up with the tank down there? <laughs> down guys we actually there. should have fallen back over there. Still, there's a tank right, right either there. Way, either way, we'll get the AAR so, a rolling. Let's, can everyone hear me? Everyone hear me try. again? Okay. Yep. Alright, alright, alright. So. Oh, hey, I can. I, hey, hey, alright. All right, Anyone who's now. not here yet, I think Tim so, didn't make it back yet. Tim is in a yeah, little bird with Joseph, and they're just flying around. Uh, okay. No, my log. Get get, get off the log. This is. I'm high command. Get down. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so. Hello, everyone. Oh, God, stage fright. They're all staring at me. Uh, alright, so. Uh, we started our mission in a little convoy. Uh, to begin our attack into the city of Jebla. Jebla? Jebla. Um, so, uh, we proceeded. Uh, we met up with uh, two... Uh, you guys called out like five IEDs that uh, I, were not there. Um, so, that was pretty interesting, I suppose. Uh, you got to that first intersection. There were two dudes there. Um, you, you schwacked the one dude, and uh, the other dude was able to take off in a truck. And uh, he was then able to alert the people at Objective 1, as you have labeled it. Uh, and uh, so they were able to arm themselves a little better. Uh, though they still didn't put anybody on the 50, which uh, an interesting strategy on their part. But uh, that worked out for them in the end by them getting domed. Um, after this, uh, the tank had some issues. Not quite sure. Did you guys get hit with like a 40 millimeter grenade or an RPG or what, what had happened? It was an RPG, RPG 26. Okay, okay, all right. Oh, we did hit you, okay. Um, hey, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, so, uh, then you guys, uh, after we have, uh, after I, I sent the APC that had absolutely no repair capabilities at all whatsoever, uh, yep. we got your vehicle jimmied back up to working status. Um, Panther pushed in to the town, and when I mean pushed in, I mean extraordinarily literally pushed in uh, into the shipping area, which was completely swarming with hostiles. But, you know, I, I think for all things considered, it did work out fairly well. Um, you guys managed to push in secure and repel uh, the constantly reinforcing enemies from the city of uh, Jebla, both on the, uh, the western side and the northern side. 
Um, you guys managed to push in almost as far as these hotel block when a uh, enemy uh, BMP-60, I think it was, uh, arrived on the scene into the north, uh, almost to the north of the building with the secure tally uh, on the map. You guys uh, took that one out. I don't know who took that out, but somebody took that out with a shoulder mounted. Yeah, somebody took that out with a shoulder mounted. Um, after that vehicle, uh, the tank pushed in. Uh, which uh, there was another BTR which was taken out, I believe, by the tank, uh, which had Confirm. gone to the same intersection. Then a, uh, a, a T-72 had uh, gone from pretty much where the purple zone marker is down into the uh, the road where that intersection is and had taken that turn and started squaring off with the Abrams. Uh, for all things considering, you guys hit, hit it twice and did nothing to it. Um, it was only on that third round did you do significant damage, so the frontal armor on the T-72 did a significantly better job than I thought it would have. Um, all three all three rounds hit right at the uh, crease between the turret and the armor. Yeah, the, the, the third round is what, what caused the fatal damage, I guess we'll call it, uh, and which caused a massive explosion and secondaries and the whole shebang um, after that uh, infantry continued to stream in from the north and the west which the uh, our infantry panther was able to hold off uh, fairly admirably um, there by no part of my doing and I am not kidding you uh, the, the infantry squad that was between the two teams the one here at the tank and the one at the northern building uh, that was just a squad I just I sent them to, to attack you I don't know they decided to li they like they picked the <laughs> spot. They just stuck right between you guys. You guys were able to handle them pretty quickly, though judging by uh, those dudes over there, they got extremely close. Um, but uh, that was a little bit of a scare. I was worried, but you guys managed to pull it off, and uh, then you finished securing that white building. And for now, the enemy has halted back. They've lost uh, uh, fairly significant armor as far as insurgents go, and uh, uh, quite a good number of infantrymen. So, uh, with that, we'll start with the uh, Panther, as Panther had the most uh, dudes. So, uh, Panther, what did, what did your what does your AAR look like? Uh, well, I think the um, we handled that first town pretty well. Uh, we had the high ground there. We were able to just sort of look down to their compounds, let them up. We took a few injuries on the way there, but um, I, I don't think we had any significant uh, trouble clearing out Objective One. Uh, then we tried to observe from Anvil OP, um, which I don't know if you have that on your map, Garbo, but that altitude three marker, um, really didn't see much, um, from where we were, had the tank finally repaired, move up there and cover us, uh, while we rolled into that, that front entrance, uh, marker, just, um, I guess where, where beta marker is, just, just south of Winchester, and, um, there was some miscommunication by me. It's my fault. I was using the wrong radio channel. Um, red team was not on the same page as blue team when we were pulling that dismount off. Um, but we, I think we cleared that up. We cleared that first area pretty easily. Um, and then I think, uh, let's see if I can throw a marker down. Um, that purple exclamation point Panther started, uh, Sort of moving out that way because we had clear sight line on the uh, the two pipes uh, where a lot of reinforcements from that intersection just north of us uh, where the two pipes are and where the factory between that and the factories a whole lot of infantry was coming in that way um, so we were able to engage them they were attempting to flank us for a while but we cut that off pretty quickly um, and then some um, I think what happened was some squads started slipping down that main road between where we were and where the red team was um, and I think that was where some of that confusion where you guys took some injury from our grenades because we were engaging guys um, that were getting between the two fire teams and they were a lot closer to you guys than I think we thought they were because uh, we didn't have clear sight from blue on the red team. Um, Can I say something they, they were on the Don't, other side of the road on the yeah, we, second we, we story never, we were on across. We, we never actually, we never took any injury. I just want to warn you because y you were lighting people up in this roadway and red was literally right on the other side of the fence so i heard the grenades going off and we were about to poke out around the fence to get them from the side uh, so i was just oh, it was just a yeah, warning to yeah, the grenades just... until we did that the uh, just, the infantry there that you see just to our south a little bit the three dead dudes next to those fencing 
I actually like. I gotta give those guys props. Like, I, I actually really like the AI for this mission because I did barely zero Zeusing, like I, I or zero controlling. Um, they rolled down there. One of them popped Caleb, uh, and then like one of them was looking to the to the where Taylor's team was, and the other one was looking up at the second floor at you guys. Well, and after that was it was pretty cool. After they popped Caleb up there, they were all looking at Blue, and all I did was just look over. I shot them all in the back, so it was fucking. Yeah, awesome. I mean, it was and I, kept shoot, I, I kept unloading lead at them, and they just kept staring at Blue Team and firing away. I was like, "You fucking idiots!" Yeah, I mean, it 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 was an extremely chaotic situation. I think because your your maneuvering at the very start really disrupted the entire flow of things. Because instead of it being okay, this is a defined line, or at least these are defined positions. Any defined position was quickly taken away, and it became a very, very, very fluid situation where I think a lot of teams, both friendly and hostile, were caught in between other teams, which it created a very interesting situation, at least well, from my perspective. From, from Red Team, Red Team moved up the west side of the road. We went to the cargo containers and then ended up at this very corner where we're having the AR, and everything was going, it was going fine until that... BTR showed up north down that road, so Harriet was here, and I was just a little <laughs> over that way. And the BTR that. poked out and just nailed Harriet right away before he could do anything. And then I called for Sharky to move up from that building, and I didn't realize that building opened up on the road because I had moved up to the cargo containers, and that was what I thought was like the way to move up. And like Sharky just stepped out of the doorway into the road and got lit up by the same BTR immediately. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I didn't, Sharky, yeah. I didn't realize horrible. there was a whole fence there. I, I thought I could just duck out and jump in. And... I was yeah, watching no. because I like to hear the radio chatter of everybody yelling when there's a BTR. So I'm just, like, sitting there watching, and I just see the thing turn the corner. It stops. I just see the turret barely move, and I just hear... And I was like, oh, no. Yeah, so, and then and then that's when it started to get a little difficult, because we had uh, Caleb and Mike, our medic, in that building, which was all right as a, as a, like a, a medic post. And so we got Sharky in there. And then Harriet and I, and then uh, Caleb and I moved up to grab Harriet. I was watching this corner because that's where the guys were coming from. And then this fucker over there popped out and nailed me right around that corner at close range. And then we're trying to recover the two guys here as that T-72 showed up. A tank's trying to fight it, and every time the tank shot its gun from there, it would injure our, our dead guys. They were trying, or the down guys. They were trying to get up, but they're trying to <laughs> T-72 shooting at us. So then it, it got a little difficult right at the end. It was, I don't know uh, what's with the AI on this one, because they kept popping up, like, at the flanks that we weren't looking. Because when Tim went down, I told Sharky, come behind me, you know, we're going to go grab Tim. And I came up to this log pile, that that spot between the two buildings over there, where those pile of troops are, they just popped out, like, right there when I wasn't paying attention, because I was looking down the road. And I threw smoke, like, to the far left, because I knew there was the, the tank around the corner down there. But I didn't expect anyone to come through that right little corner there. And somehow got a clean shot only at my head. And I out right there. I was not, uh, like I said, I wasn't in control of a lot of infantry. Um, what, what, what I think I do that a lot of other people don't is I actually like try and use the AI to do AI things. I think a lot of people just garrison people in buildings and then that's it. And then occasionally have some people out. I would, uh, I, I have an entire, you know, like like fire teams. I don't like squads. Um, cause they have RPGs and other scary things. I, I basically just send them out to attack like the intersection or like the tank or, or, or just, I just give them that objective and I just stop looking at them and I send it out to three or four fire teams and I don't just how this mission goes with all these alleyways and all these dark areas. They would just pick all of those. Occasionally, they'd they'd come out and stream down the road. Like I saw them, they cleared that whole that whole fence area on the south between the the hotel building and that fence. They cleared that. Like the first guy popped out and he leaned out. The second guy ran to where the 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 fence is, and then it it just it was a very the AI was very maneuvery. So I was not like it wasn't like I was running around or teleporting them anywhere. I I was spawning them way off in the distance and. Just uh, I, I, that's where I had spawned them, and then I just brought them in. You know, they had already been spawned as you guys were pushing in. So I, it was just uh, how they were pushing in through the alleyways and stuff like that. That was the AI's decision. That was not. I wasn't like micromanaging them. So yes, uh, we've got through the, both the uh, the front ends, uh, the both the the, the uh, team leaders, the fire team leaders, the squad leader. So. 
let's uh, take a look then, Vlad, at uh, the uh, anvil excursion. Vlad, that, that was seven. Vlad. Was seven was in charge? I thought Vlad, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. oh, was Vlad All right. the one on the I was, radio? I was the gun. Talk, oh, please. I thought you were on the radio. Was yeah. Vlad no, that, was, that was seven. Go I seven. got on the radio once. All right, so oh, here's what happened. Sound the same, we, uh, we led the convoy. We were doing pretty good. Um, we pretty much got wrecked at the first uh, intersection. <laughs> I still um, have no idea how that happened. There was a dude please. in AK-47, and so, the other dude got in a tank and drove away. Let him finish, <laughs> please. So uh, <laughs> it was two of us that were turned out on the top guns, thinking we'd be safe. Um, and we got like pretty much like shot right away and died right away. So we had to have uh, Panther's medic come up and heal us both. Um, we kind of learned our lesson from that. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Crazy. Um, Welcome. We uh, we pushed up. We got on top of that hill. We were doing good. Overwatch, just shooting some shit at some people. Um, engaged some contacts. We actually took an RPG, which knocked out our gun, which explains why we had to go offline for a couple minutes. Um, and then uh, from there, eventually we found ourselves at OP uh, Anvil OP. Um, took out a shit ton of dudes. Marked all along those red dots. Um, they were like all on the on the on the docks. Um, before you guys even pushed up there, and then while you guys were there at Winchester, um, we were just engaging all those guys out there. Uh, you guys told us about the, the tank coming in, the BTR, so uh, after some radio comms, we pushed ourselves up to your southern flank, um, pushed up slowly on, along the road, engaging light infantry contacts. Uh, BTR turned around that corner, and we destroyed it like right away. Um, and then almost like right after that, we spotted the T-72, uh, and we were in engagement with that. Um, I tried getting on the radio to to say to Panther, like, hey, we're shooting this guy, try to watch out. Um, I had no idea that the the gun was actually hurting people. Um, and given the situation, uh, I'm pretty proud that of what happened. Like, yeah, I'm sorry we hurt you guys, but, like, the tank could have shot you and killed the, all of you. <laughs> so the whole that all coming down, like, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. Um, other than that, there's a couple other scattered infantry guys we took out, but, uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. I'll keep in mind not to shoot near our friendlies again, but, uh, given that situation, if this happens again, I'll probably do it again. Alright, Harry had the, the first comment. So I, I get that the tank is a high-value target. When you have two down guys right in front of the area that you're shooting, and you keep shooting, and they keep going down, and then everyone that's trying to get them keeps going down, it's kind of just a big, huge fucking mess. <laughs> oh, yeah. I... I understand. Uh, given the pressure and the situation we're in, and I had no idea you guys were there down and getting hurt more. Um, yeah. Right. So, <laughs> uh, a comment on that as well. I mean, I, I understand, and I think moving forward, uh, because blue team and red team had split up significantly, uh, and you know, the, such the, the close proximity of Anvil to red team at the end, we probably should have arranged it so. Red team could have had comms with Anvil as well, uh, because it was was it was a little frustrating, um, like it was injuring you know injuring us, which you didn't know, and and you know having to call to Blue Team, who's 150 meters away, to call to Anvil, to tell them not to shoot right in front of us, just the the relay of comms. There was still like about two more shots that went off before that kind of got through. I will say though, I do kind of. This does kind of make me wish that these uh, that the Arma tanks did have the real uh, phone system that's on the outside of the Abrams. Like, there's like an actual like telephone hook receiver that somebody can just on the back of the tank just take off and talk to them. But I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. real ones there is. It's a direct so, line straight to the tank commander. Uh, Caleb actually got on the net. Uh, I pretty much yell at Caleb, so sorry about that. Um, I think that was a little too late, because uh, I remember it, uh, Panther already called us on long range saying uh, we're hurting friendlies, and then Caleb after that got on. Um, try not trying to single you out. Um, so, apologize. I was just trying to contact you guys. Because, um, it was was fair, down it's a there, fair thing to contact about. Don't don't forget. That's, you know, the, that's the, the right contact. Tim was down up there, and we didn't have any kind of... Cause when I tried to move up the first time, I got shot down, and we didn't have any cover, and I didn't know where the rounds were fully coming from. And I just wanted—I just needed something to be like a, a metal shield between us, so that we could get Tim out, because Tim was in the middle of the road, basically. There was there was two people down, and then when we called for Blue to ask the tank to stop, uh, like uh, after another shot, 
we got back, well, can you pull back out of Blue's way, out of the tank's way? And I don't think Blue really understood that we're trying to get half our squad up right here. <laughs> so yeah, really I didn't, I didn't really back. understand what we, what your situation actually yeah. was. I mean, from my end, I'm hearing from the tank, oh, we're engaging another tank. And, and you know what? Like, okay. That that was half my fault because when Tim and I think it was Caleb were down yeah. up there, Harriet was still getting picked up by Mike, and I was just, uh, what, I was just at that last metal container, and I basically just decided to pick up Zulu, and let you guys know that I was trying to get Tim out, and then I completely forgot about trying to relay to the tank, and it kind of turned into a fuck show because I was under fire. I was taking contact from those cocksuckers on the corner there, and I was trying to smoke it <laughs> I, out, I think... pull one guy back so I could get one guy up and get eyes covered down the road so we could go pick up Tim and. Yeah, so that that was partially it was mayhem, my fault. Basically, yeah, you shouldn't have just fucking died, Tim. Well, no, and I, I never, <laughs> I never really looked at close at tanks, tanks comms, so I, I should have had it at least ready to go. I mean, I would have been down, I was down at the time, but, um, like I didn't have it ready to go if I needed to talk to the tank, which would have been pretty important in that situation, considering they were right beside us. Yeah, and I, think... I did have them on the comms. I just forgot to fucking switch over and coordinate with them. I think what I do think the what... tank did make the right call there, though. They're at that point they're engaging other armor. None of our infantry had any capability to engage that armor. Um, so even though it was kind of shitty, and we'll try to avoid that in the future, they did make the right call to uh, continue engaging till it was down. Vlad, quick comment. I was just pretty much gonna say what Taylor was saying. We made, I believe that we made the right call, uh, no matter what the guys on the ground were doing. There was an enemy armor over there that could have taken out the tank and the infantry if it wasn't dealt with. The tank so, did did shoot quite a couple of times. I think it got two shells off. I, I don't know. The but... shells didn't hit anything. But we. Uh, I didn't shoot them, me. so I don't know why. But but at the same time, we were engaging that tank, and we did try to relay over the net just to clear away from our tank because we we're engaging another tank. And so if that didn't get passed down properly, that's a uh, could it got be another thing. They were just not mobile. And when, it was, when it it was down fight. already yeah. beforehand. Yeah. It, it was, well, it was a, it was ahead of a quite a couple of things. The infantry was in contact, and they already had a couple of people down when the tank did arrive yeah. with its infantry. So it, it kind of created a, a multiple, like a very three dimensional situation. Now, could we? Have I, said I, I, I say, Let's keep it organized. Vlad, continue. I, I will yeah. say that I did notice the guys that are on the ground that were downed. I did call them to the tank commander because I was in the gunner seat. And so when we decided, when I saw the tank, I was told to open fire. I knew fully well that there were people down, friendlies down in this area. And I was trying to give them covering fire, give the uh, the, uh, the ground crew covering fire to get to their friendlies. But that tank pr took priority over covering you guys to get to your friendlies. So as soon as we started engaging that tank, I believe personally that you the uh, friendly ground unit that was still alive on the ground... So just pull back and hunker down and let us kill that tank, and then you guys can push up and take your care of your uh, wounded soldiers. Mm -hmm. Harriet had a comment. Yeah, so that was the original plan. Uh, when I was going up there before you guys brought up, uh, we had Tim, and I think we were trying to get Sharky. And we were supposed to, or my plan was to pull them back, and then, because the tank has to go up this big, this big road to our west, but we were going to pull him back, and then if he pulled up, you could just engage him from the corner to the, uh, to the south. But then once you shot, shot everyone started going down, and the plan just went to complete chaos. Don't even so think about it. There, there's a disconnect there, because I don't, wasn't in communication don't, with you. Don't. But I, I, yeah, I, I wasn't just don't that aware of that situation right either. Um, yeah, and I think it was just poor timing, because, like... Like I, I I was I was down, but I was watching Shack Tack, and I could hear them talking. And like, they they had picked up both of us, were carrying us back right when the tank shot, and then we went down again. And then the tank backed off, and then they started picking us up again and carrying us back. And then the tank came out and shot again, and somebody else went down. So that was the frustration part, I guess, was just because like we were so close to getting out of your way, and like every time we were moving out. It, it would shoot and somebody else would go down or we'd drop who we were carrying. Um, and like, I understand your point of view and you don't really know that either. And we weren't in communications to communicate that. We just needed like 10 seconds or something to get out of your way. 
and but we couldn't tell you that, and it was it was too slow to try and relay that through blue to you. So I mean, all right, we're we're think. we're going around in circles now. All right, I I've been trying to say this for the last three minutes. Everybody here has identified that a there was a little bit of communication issues. A couple of people that were on the important parts were down. The tank as a as an objective was well down there. Um, it would have continued pushing up and engaging, but at the same time, it was far enough away that it was not going to be uh, able to engage the armor. So that's these are all things that it, it's a very three-dimensional thing. We can't just bullet point a battle. You know, uh, plus, you had that squad that was going to come through anyways. So it, it's just one of those things where now we're just saying, yes, it's, it was a communication issue, and uh, it, it's now we know. As, as Harriet said, we, we basically said three times now the exact same story from three different people. And I understand that it's important that we all are on the same page. I completely agree with that, but now we're starting to burn time. So, as I was saying, uh, I, I think ultimately we were able to get our people up after the tank went down. Uh, now everybody knows. Now the other thing is, how often do we work with an Abrams as an infantry plus Abrams? It's not very often that we find ourselves in this situation, so I think we have a lot of people. Uh, I didn't even know that the front of the tank would overpressurize and injure the infantry to the front. So uh, it's one of those things we don't operate quite often with uh, armor, friendly armor, uh, against hostile armor. It's not a situation we find ourselves in, nor, honestly, do we find ourselves in cities that often. So it's, it was, uh, it's two different foreign things that we're dealing with, and I thought that actually we dealt with it pretty well. So with that, the sun is going down. Uh, if you guys want to continue playing, that is perfectly up to you. Continue. Yeah, let's do it. So uh, that is it is perfectly up to you guys. I can create a kind of a, uh, not a, I can move up the respawn here and just kind of set up a little thing here and uh, we'll go from there. Obviously, with the sun setting, it would take time to set up some kind of base camp, 